guys, and welcome back to another CatCast. Today, we are back here once again, and if you can believe it, they're finally back on the channel, guys. Japan Crate is here once again, and I'm so excited to be able to check them out and see if they've changed anything. We've been doing Japanese candies with other companies for a while now, um, and Japan Crate did a couple with us. Um, and then sort of took a bit of a break, but they are back now, um, basically to try out one box to see if you guys like watching the videos. And if you do, then we will carry on making these as well. So if you enjoy this, if you want to see more, let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. We'll just get stuck in straight away here. But this is, fantastically enough, a February 2016 box. This is the Valentine box, as you can see here. Volume number eight. Um, and a beautiful little picture on the front there. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the recipe list, well not the recipe list, but the list of items up because that's obviously pretty important. Here we go, I think this is it. Looks pretty accurate. Uh, yep, I think that's it. Fantastic. Okay, so let's, without further ado, start going through. And I'm going to start off with this because I think we've had one of these before. I'm like having a weird kind of like flashback to to having this. Is that right? My God, wow. I, I'm, I'm a bit confused to be honest with you, but that's fine because this seems to be, everything else seems to be different. I was just like, hang on a second, have I done this one already? But no, it's fine, I haven't. <laughs> this thing is very, very cool. It's the bonus item for the box. We're kind of like, doing it a bit out of turn here, but that's fine. Um, what we actually have here, this is so weird. Uh, it's one of those like little sort of thing where you put a coin in, you turn it, you get an egg pop out. What we've been given in our egg is a mini ramen noodle bowl. Um, and I'm gonna take this nice and close to the camera so you can see what's in our Ramune bowl. Oh, I just touched the microphone there. I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. This is literally a beautifully crafted mini bowl of ramen and it looks awesome. Like I love the texture. It's obviously, it's obviously like some kind of a, it, it doesn't smell like vinyl. I don't know, it's probably like a resin, I think, like a hard resin that's been sort of uh, done over the, the top of the stuff. Um, but it's very, it's very good looking actually. And it, <laughs> you can actually push and sort of peel back all the different bits and pieces because there's only like veg and stuff in there as well but it's actually a very very cool little little bonus item for us here uh, and just just a nice little thing really a mini ramen bowl who would have thought just a little pretend kind of ramen for you to enjoy so first thing is actually a non-food item which is great next thing though is something a little bit different it looks like it's actually a diy kit so unfortunately we can't do this with you guys right now but over on the ASMR cast, uh, if you want to check it out, we do actually go ahead and make these kits. Um, we do just like a nice no talking kind of thing where we just literally sit down and make it together. Um, they're very cool videos. You should definitely go and check them out over on the ASMR cast. There's a link to them down below um, or a link to the channel down below that is and you can find them. There's a whole list of DIY kits and we've now got around about 10 DIY kits for us to do. So one of these days, this hopefully this week, I'm going to sit down and just unbox them all. Um, and you guys will get a chance to watch those, which will be absolutely fantastic. But let's move on to something that we can actually eat, shall we? Um, he says that nervously because this could quite possibly be a chewing gum. It is. <laughs> so we're just, we're just getting through everything that we can't do to start off with. Uh, and then we'll move on from that. Um, this is a chewing gum. This is a Topu Trio stick gum. Six individually wrapped chewing gums that are perfect for carrying on the go. Cola, cider, and grape flavors, which is pretty cool. And that sounds quite nice, actually. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't want to sit around chewing gum for like the next half an hour and have to find somewhere to spit it out. Because we've done it before. Didn't work. It was very, very bad. Um, but it's fine. So, finally, onto something that we can actually open for you guys. This is a, tw it's called Twinbo, Twinbo Drink Gummy. As you can see here, the lovely packaging is, rid is ridiculous advertising. Uh, each of these sugar-coated sour gummies features two different flavors. The red is cola, 
The blue is Ramune, the green is Lime, and the yellow is Lemon. So you pair them together and you get an intense flavour. So, for example here, let's just get one at random out. This is uh, red, which is cola, and yellow, which is lemon. So technically this should be a lemon cola. Which it is. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. go. Ah, so bitter. Whoa. Oh, oh. Mm. Very sharp. Very strong. Very nice, though. So... Really happy with that. Oh, so strong though. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we managed to get through it, don't worry. So, the next thing that we have inside this box is a soda flavored taffy wrapped in layers of chewy grape taffy. Um, again, it's like gonna be something that's, I'm gonna chew for a million years, so I won't bother uh, opening it for you guys, but I'll show you the the, uh, the boxing. It was very, very cool. It's a nice sort of like taffy flavored thing. Um, we've also got what looks like kind of like a Pringle Norishio Chip Star. Check this out. This would be quite cool to take a look at. Um, let's see what it says about it. This resealable tube of potato chips is a lot like American Pringles, but with a Japanese flavour. Seaweed and salt. Salt and seaweed. That sounds crazy. Okay, let's see if we can actually open this. I'm struggling here. Oh, there we go. It's just a little pop thing that you need to just do. There we go, we managed to pop that. And then it just has a little little package of them. <laughs> so it's not like Pringles where you have to sort of get your hand in and all do all that messy kind of stuff. It's actually just a nice little thing. Salt and seaweed, eh? Well, I guess we'll give it a go. Oh, we broke it. Okay, let's try and get a main bit out. There you go. Well, I can taste the salt. And the seaweed isn't far behind, actually. Um, it's not strong. It's not overpowering. Uh, I don't really like salt-flavoured crisps, though, so I'll probably give them to my family. But, I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're quite nice, so it's fine. So, what else have we got here? Um, we've got some Kit Kats here. These are... Uh, let's have a look here. It doesn't even say... It doesn't even list them on the thing. Wow. There you go. Just randomly being given some... There's a matcher... Uh, Kit Kats, you should be able to see. I'll turn that around the right way. We've got three of them. Matcha Kit Kats. I'm not going to open them because Kit Kats are Kit Kats, really. If you don't know what a Kit Kat is, then you live in a country that doesn't sell Kit Kats, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so we'll leave those for now, though, because it's just chocolate. Matcha flavored chocolate. We have got another DIY kit here as well, which actually looks like quite a cool one. Um, you put sort of like colored dots on a, on a pad, um, and then you sort of cover it with chocolate from behind it becomes like a chocolate biscuit that has these colored dots on it I'm thinking that we could probably try to make some kind of like Zelda symbols or something that could be quite cool again uh, That's going to be going on to the ASMR cast for us to do as an unboxing video um, No whispering or anything. It will just literally be a silent unboxing video of that which will be very very exciting for me Anyway, because I love doing those kind of things the next thing that we have here is a Yaokin Budo Grape gummy, apparently. Uh, it looks about right. It's reminiscent of fruit snacks, but softer in texture. The yummy grape gummies are a favourite amongst Japanese children. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we can find. I'm sure it's going to be very, very tasty, but I don't know... Oh, it's literally like little individual kind of gummy grape things. Okay. And it is just a very, very soft grape... Um, like a jelly tot almost, if that means anything to you, probably not. <laughs> Using these weird references that no one understands. Okay, so I've just seen something that we're going to finish this video on. You guys are going to love it. Um, I'm not going to love it. It looks like it's going to really hurt me. <laughs> so uh, we'll try that one last. Uh, we've also got here what looks like petite pastel ice cream cookies and chocolate. Is that what that is? I'm not sure it is actually, you know. Um, but it must be, because it's the only thing that's left in the box here. So the packaging doesn't look the same as what's on the box, but there it is. Um, it's chocolate with uh, sort of like different flavours in it. Different flavoured chocolates, which is quite cool. There are two little um, boxes of them. So let's go ahead and pop one open here and just grab one of the chocolates out of it with a white base on it. Now the colour bit was a chocolate with a biscuit. 
Wow. Very, very tasty, actually. Yeah, really, really nice. God damn. You know what? When I go to Japan, I'm going to be buying so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So, third to last now, we have Yaokin Moju Chu. It's a stick of individually wrapped uh, high chews, basically. They remind them a lot of high chews. Um, and as you guys know, high chew is just literally just a, like a chew it or a soft uh, chewy candy. So we don't open these because I actually have a lot of these sort of like saved up because I actually eat them. <laughs> I actually do like have the, like a pack of these in it for a, like a car ride or whatever. Um, and they're delicious. Uh, and it's just literally just a, a soft chewy candy, that, like, just like anything that you'd get in the UK or America or whatever. So we'll leave that one for now. Now, as for some things that are different and some things that you won't get uh, in America or the UK, here we have a Ramune Rumble. Uh, this is a raspberry flavor Ramune. And I think I was talking to you guys before about how Ramune um, is like an interesting soda flavor. Uh, well, that's, that's completely the case because that's exactly what's going on here. Um, we've got a raspberry flavored one here and it's going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm definitely going to try it here. Um, let's just quickly peel the side of the, uh, the thing here. Just got to try to make it nice. There we go. And now the way that this works is the actual Ramune bottle is under pressure. Dum 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 because you can see in here there is a glass bead. See that? Like a like a marble basically inside the top of the thing here. Try and push it. It's not going anywhere. It comes with this though, and basically what you do with this is you break the seal, and that gives you a little top part, which I don't think it's far too small for me to show you. But you put that top part, you see this, on top of the glass top, and you push down. And you hold down, and ah, I'm trying to do it like softly but hard at the same time. Oh, it's a really, it's really under pressure. I'm worried that this box is actually gonna, this could be a, this could be a disaster here, guys. Ah, I got you now. Basically, to stop it from like going everywhere, you pop it, and then you hold it down. You keep on holding it down, um, but it feels like the the pressure is completely gone now. So that's fantastic. There you go, and. Cheers. Smells like raspberry. Tastes like Ramune. Yeah, very, very tasty actually. It's quite, it's very, very delicate flavoring. A little bit fizzy, but yeah, the flavoring is very, is really quite bland. Um, not in a bad way necessarily, but it is still good. So there we go. That's, uh, <laughs> that's that one. Now, I'm not gonna let that, go too far away because the last but not least thing that we have inside this month's Japan crate is um oh god oh god oh juicy it's called super lemon and apparently it is a individually wrapped individually wrapped super sour hard candy um called super lemon and they're supposed to be the worst, <laughs> the absolute worst uh, in, in super sour hard candies. So I'm going to sign off the episode now and we'll, we'll just enjoy this and you can enjoy the pain and torture of watching me eat this as we, as we try and do the outro, okay? How about that? That sounds like fun. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh! Mm. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, oh this is really bad. This is really sour. All right. Oh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. Go check out Japan Crate. Oh my God. There's a link down below um, for you guys to go and check out. I can't believe how sour this is. Oh my God. Um, I think we've got a code down below for you to get a discount as well. So make sure that you use that. These guys are really cool. Uh, they're priced really well. Go and check them out. And uh, I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Take care, guys. Oh, my God. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget.
forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.